Why planes don't fly in a straight line? Aircraft almost always follow a curved route. The route between Europe and the US is in a straight line. Aircraft will fly over Greenland and northern Canada. Flights from the US to Asia go above Alaska and Siberia. This comes down to saving time and fuel. Aircraft chose the shortest route in three-dimensional space. The route is called a geodesic or great circle route. These are common in navigation, sailing, and aviation. A circle from north to south is shorter than the equator. The reason for this is that the Earth revolves on an axis. This forces the middle to bulge out slightly. This gives the Earth extra equatorial width. The path aircraft take curves towards the poles. It is a shorter distance than flying in a straight line. Flight paths are mapped out before aircraft take off. They depend on the shortest and most efficient route. They also maximize the number of airports along the path. Emergencies are extremely rare for aircraft. Knowing where you can land is important nevertheless. Flight paths can even change during flight. This depends on weather, wind, and jet streams. The jet streams are altitude air currents. They exist near the top of the troposphere. It is the lowest layer of the Earth's atmosphere. Most weather occurs in the troposphere. There is a border between the troposphere and stratosphere. It is called the tropopause. Its altitude fluctuates between 4 and 12 miles. This results in rapid shifts in temperature and pressure. The shift creates a wind tunnel. It can reach speeds of over 200 miles per hour. These speeds are most common during the winter months. They are caused by greater temperature differences. But regular wind speeds of 80 to 140 miles per hour are quite common. They can get an aircraft to its destination much quicker. A lot less fuel will be burned during the flight. However, flying into the jet stream will slow you down. Flight planning may try alternative routes to avoid this. The Earth has four main jet streams. There are two of them in each hemisphere. The Earth's rotation causes them to flow west to east. There are two jet streams most important for airlines. The polar jet stream forms near the Arctic Circle. The subtropical jet stream forms near the equator. Flying with the jet stream is a big advantage, but it has a downside called clear air turbulence. Turbulence is caused by the rising hot air. This helps gliders stay in the air without a motor. Water distributes heat a lot better than soil, so there is less turbulence over water than over land. This makes flights over the ocean much smoother. Clear air turbulence occurs along the edges of the stream. It's far more intense than normal turbulence. It's almost impossible to predict, so no amount of planning can help to avoid it. 